Commander. What can I do for you? Do you have a minute, Miranda? There's a lot to do, Shepard. Maybe another time. Anything I should know regarding the Normandy? The crew's working well, and the ship appears to be performing to specifications. I'll let you work. Of course, Commander. I haven't had a meal that good in a long time. I didn't think Rupert had it in him. Don't touch. That rifle's older than you are. I call her Jessie. That's my lucky charm. More men have been killed with that gun than died in the Skillian Blitz. The day I laid her to rest was the saddest day of my life. I give up every weapon I own for one more mission with that shitty old rifle. Thinking about past missions. Got a minute. You might learn something. So you knew Archangel from before. Interesting. Knew a lot of men taking jobs to kill the son of a bitch. I never saw the point. He and I wanted the same thing. A whole lot of mercs dead. Hell of a sniper, though. And he kept himself alive with all the mercs in Omega after him. That ain't easy. I was trying to remember how many Cerberus operatives I've killed. Lost track around 50. Guess you're elusive, man's big on forgiveness. Beauty, isn't it? Pride that off the Krogan warlord, Kazak. Used to run the blood pack out of Omega about 17 years ago. Wasn't even a job. The guy just thought he'd hijack a freighter I was hitchhiking on. Big mistake. I goaded Kizak into one-on-one -on -one combat. Took out his legs, grabbed his gun, and killed every blood pack bastard in the room. That was the most beaten Krogan I've ever seen. Kept the helmet to remind me of that pained expression. Oh yeah, that's a model of the Varakan. Turian frigate. Hell of a ship. I led a mission to bring that thing down from the inside with just five men and whatever guns we could bring. No chance of success, but we did it. Everyone died but me. So I made out like a bandit. My first impossible mission as an independent contractor. There's been many since, but nothing so goddamn sweet as watching that Turian warship crash planet side. The subject is stable, Shepard. Integration with onboard systems was seamless. Can he see anything in there? Does he know where he is? Unlikely. Current neural patterns indicate minimal cognition. Barring shipwide power loss, the nutrients in the tank could sustain him for over a year. Any idea how dangerous this guy is? He is a Krogan, Shepard. If you were asking whether he is actively hostile, I don't have the necessary data to answer. Okir's technology could impart data, not methods of thinking. 
the subject may know of his views, but would not necessarily share them. What can you tell me about this guy? Anything unusual? The subject is an exceptional example of the Krogan species, with fully formed primary, secondary, and tertiary organs where applicable. No defects of any kind, aside from the genetic markers of the genophage present in all Krogan. I cannot judge mental functioning. Stand by. I'm gonna open the tank and let him out. Cerberus protocol is very clear regarding untested alien technology. He's either a powerful addition to the crew or a time bomb. I'd rather deal with it now. Very well, Shepard. The controls are online. The switch and consequences are yours. Shepard, and I don't take threats lightly. I suggest you relax. Not your name. Mine. I'm trained. I know things. But the tank, Okir couldn't implant connection. His words are hollow. Warlord, legacy, Grunt. Grunt. Grunt was among the last. It has no meaning. It'll do. I am Grunt. If you are worthy of your command, prove your strength and try to destroy me. You wouldn't prefer Okir or Legacy? It's short. Matches the training in my blood. The other words are big things I don't feel. Maybe they fit your mouth better. I feel nothing for Okir's clan or his enemies. I'll do what I'm bred to do. Fight and determine the strongest. But his imprint has failed. Without a reason that's mine. One fight is as good as any other. Might as well start with you. I have a good ship and a strong crew. A strong clan. You'd make it stronger. If you're weak and choose weak enemies, I'll have to kill you. Our enemies are worthy. No doubt about that. Hmm. Hmm. That's... acceptable. I'll fight for you. I'm glad you saw reason. Huh? <laughs> Offer one hand, but arm the other. Wise Shepard. If I find a clan, if I find what I... I want, I will be honored to eventually pit them against you. Shepard? Just checking in. Making sure you're acclimatizing. Humans talk too much. Like the tank. Come back later. What are your thoughts about our mission? I fight. Doesn't matter who for. Did Okir give you any imprints about the Collectors? I see blurry ships, guesswork about strength. Nothing to help pick a weak spot and tear. Okir spent all his time on old hatreds. Whatever he had, it was used up when he made me. What do you think about the crew? Good bunch if they stay out of my way. Dead bunch if they don't. Train them good if you want to take on collectors. Some of these aliens are too smooth. Anything in your tank imprints that can make use of the resources we found? Hmm. Might have something I could put together. Don't know how useful it will be.
Commander. What can I do for you? Do you have a minute, Miranda? There's a lot to do, Shepard. Maybe another time. I'll let you work. Of course, Commander. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal.
several messages for you, Commander. launched. Launching probe. Probe launched. Launching probe. Probe launched. Probe away. Probe away. Probe launched. Launching probe. Launching probe. Probe launched. Launching probe. Probe launched. Probe away. Probe launched. Probe launched. Probe away. Launching probe. Launching probe. Probe away.
launching probe.
Welcome to the Purgatory, Shepard. Your package is being prepped, and you can claim it shortly. As this is a high-security vessel, you'll need to relinquish your weapons before we proceed. I can't do that. Everyone stand down. Commander, I'm Warden Kirill, and this is my ship. Your weapons will be returned on the way out. You must realize this is just a standard procedure. It's my standard procedure to keep my gun. Let them proceed. Our facility is more than secure enough to handle three armed guests. We're bringing Jack out of cryo. As soon as the fund's clear, you can be on your way. If you'll follow me to outprocessing for the pickup, Commander. Let's go. Cell Block 2. As you can see, we keep tight control over the population. Each prisoner's cell is a self-contained modular unit. I've blown a few out the airlocks as an example. The ship is made up of 30 cell blocks identical to this one. We house thousands of criminals. We can put the whole place in lockdown on a moment's notice. Nothing goes wrong here. Maintaining a population this size in space can't be cheap. We can cut corners that governments can't, and each prisoner brings in a fee from his home world. These individuals are violent, and their home planets pay well to keep them here. What happens if the home world doesn't want to pay? We explain that we can't maintain the prisoner without their help, so we'll be forced to release him back onto his home world at an unspecified place and time. You scare the home worlds with the prisoners. You don't have to agree with my methods, but don't question my motives. These are despicable people, and I'm keeping them locked up. How'd you end up running this ship? I was in law enforcement on Palavin, and got sick of seeing criminals escape out into the galaxy to carry on with their crimes. Bounty hunters aren't dependable. Eventually, I hit upon this idea. Keep the criminals in space, and the galaxy is a safer place. You do this because you think it's necessary? Every day I see the worst sapient life has to offer. Governments are soft, unwilling to make the hard choices. Someone had to stand up and make the galaxy safe. Can you tell me about Jack? Cerberus hasn't told you. Jack is the meanest handful of violence and hate I've ever encountered. Dangerous, crazy, and very powerful. You'll see soon enough. Let's get on with this. Have there been escape attempts? We're in space. They have nowhere to go, and they know it. But still, we exercise extreme caution. These are dangerous individuals. We have many ways to control the population. I'm going to confirm that the funds from Cerberus cleared. Our processing is straight down this hallway. Just keep going past the interrogation rooms and the Supermax wing. I'll catch up with you later, Shepard. You don't even get good information that way. After a point, victims admit to anything to make the pain stop. something I can do for you? There's no excuse for beating a prisoner who can't fight back. This is a massage compared to what his victims went through. This degrades you as much as him. We have orders. You're not important enough to make your own decisions? I admit, I sometimes get tired of this. Does this really get us anything useful? Stop this. For your own sake. Yeah, you're right. Call it off. At least for now. Hey! Hey guys, over here! Let me ask you something. If you're buying prisoners, can you buy me? Man, I, I don't care where you take me or what you do to me. It's gotta be better than this. Get yourself out. We're here for Jack. Jack? Forget what I just said. I don't want to go nowhere with you. 
Tell me more about Jack. The worst trouble you ever saw. Mixed with some crazy and way too much biotic power. That's all I'm saying. I thought this ship was a prison, not a market. Sometimes people buy cons so they can do some punishing of their own, if you understand. Warden sells this to whoever can pay enough. Why are they interrogating that prisoner? He knows something? Nah, that's Bimmy. He don't know nothing. He offed someone in the showers yesterday, I think. Guy he killed was worth a lot to the Warden. Yeah. Sucks to be Bimmy right now. They're going at it pretty hard. Do they ever kill prisoners by accident? I haven't heard of anyone dying. Warden can't make money off us if we're dead. Funny thing, though. The more a guard does it, the meaner he gets. So they rotate him through. So, what are you in for? I killed a few people. Only about 20 or so. And I blew up that one habitat. Small time compared to most of the guys here. What's it like here? Bad. And you gotta watch out. Damn, but someone's always after your stuff. Your smokes, your clothes, your pride. I haven't taken a shower in three months. I should go. Wish I could go. I hear the screaming in my head. It's nice, yeah. This is the Supermax wing. It's off limits. Out processing is back down the hall on your right. They'll bring your package there after the cryo thaw is finished. Processing's through the door on the far side of the room. My apologies, Shepard. You're more valuable as a prisoner than a customer. Drop your weapons and proceed into this open cell. You will not be harmed. You topped up your noble intentions with this prison. It turns out you're a criminal like the rest. Activate systems! Heads up! of shot ready.
loose. Repeat, Shepard is loose. Get me there. That's going to open every door on the cell block. It's the only way to get Jack out of cryo. I'm doing it. Be ready. Get down there. Warning, warning. Ooh, I want to see how long she can last. I'll take it. All guards, restore order. Lethal force authorized. But don't kill Jack. Tex, lockdown, lockdown. Sector 7, 9, and 11 have lost life support. No survivors. got swarmed by prisoners with improvised weapons. He never had a chance. It shows you what kind of people these prisoners are. I don't agree with everything they do here, but it's in the galaxy's best interests. This guard kept maniacs away from innocent people.
put them down.
more valuable, Shepard. I could have sold you and lived like a king. But you're too much trouble. At least I can recapture Jack. Not happening. You're a two-bit slave trader and I don't have time for it. I do the hard thing civil governments are unwilling to. This is for the good of the galaxy. Light him up.
Cerberus. What the hell do you want? You're in a bad situation, and I'm gonna get you out of here. Shit, you sound like a pussy. I'm not going anywhere with you. You're Cerberus. I'm here to ask for your help. You show up in a Cerberus frigate to take me away somewhere? You think I'm stupid? This ship is going down in flames. We can get you to safety, and we're asking for your help. Just shoot her and patch her up on the ship. I'd like to see you try. We're not going to attack her. Good move. Look, you want me to come with you? Make it worth my while. Tell me what you're thinking. I bet your ship's got lots of Cerberus databases. I want to look at those files, see what Cerberus has got on me. You want me on your team? Let me go through those databases. I'll give you full access. You better be straight up with me. So why the hell are we standing here? Move out. Welcome to the Normandy, Jack. I'm Miranda, Shepard's second in command. On this ship, we follow orders. Tell the Cerberus cheerleader to back off, Shepard. I'm here because of our deal. Miranda will let you into the system. Let me know what you find. Hear that, precious? We're going to be friends. You, me, and every embarrassing little secret. I'll be reading down in the hold, or somewhere near the bottom. I don't like a lot of through traffic. Keep your people off me. Better that way. Shepard. Just checking in. Making sure you're acclimatizing. The hold is too open. Not enough cover. Armor is limited. Warlord Granth would target here to scatter heavy cargo, then focus on engines. That's what tank imprints show about human ships anyway. It's how I learned from the tank. Old pictures where memory is. Like holding a book for a child. Just remember this, picture after picture. No help with finding a reason to care. What other human info is floating around in there? Less than a finger deep to sever your spine. You're soft. Solarian, Sasari, all soft. Quarians, not so much. Turians, you have to work the blade, I guess. Don't see much point to it, though. <laughs> much point. <laughs> uh, never mind. Something must move you. You're as genetically Krogan as you can get. I see suffering, the dead, and I think weak. 
I'm supposed to be strong. My guts were grown from thousands more worthy. The dead were weak. If they were strong, I wouldn't be needed. I don't know why Okir started teaching. When he turned on the tank the first time, I screamed. Weak. Pitiful. So you started small, but you became what you are. Not everyone gets that chance. I'm built for strength, but didn't earn it. I just am. Those dead were strong enough to try, even if they lost. The perfect Krogan, ignoring what made me. No strength in that. I'll take another look at what happened to the Krogan. Find a reason to care about it. Hey. What do you think of Miranda and Jacob? Jacob doesn't know who he is, but that's not my problem. Miranda's a Cerberus bitch. Knew that before she opened her mouth. What do you think of our mission? I don't care. I'm out to survive it, then cut loose. I've picked up a lot of resources. Can you use them to help against the Collectors? I ran across the schematics for making L5X implants. Still got them in my head. You want to know what I need? Not usually my thing, but I've learned how to get things done on my own. Hey. Tell me about you, Jack. I'm still finding out about me. Thanks for letting me look at these files. If they're helping you, that's good enough for me. Don't be my buddy. You need me to kill for you, I need you for these files. Let's leave it there. Your friends at Cerberus are into some nasty things. I'm gonna find something I can use. I just know it. What if the answers aren't what you expect? I'm not looking for answers. I'm looking for names, dates, Places. What happens when you find what you're looking for? I go hunting. Anyone who's screwed with me pays. Their associates pay. Their friends pay. The galaxy's gonna be a lot emptier when I'm done. What's your history with Cerberus? They raised me in a research facility. I escaped when I was a kid. Been on the run ever since. And they've been chasing me ever since. But soon, I'm gonna chase them. You don't have to live in this pit, you know. It's dark, quiet, and hard to find. That spells safety to me. You know, this ship is a powerhouse. You could go pirate, live like a queen. I could help. We have to stop the Collectors. I don't have time for piracy. When this is done, we'll either be dead or out here in space with this ship. Think about it. Lots of creds. Freedom to go wherever you want. And all the mayhem and fighting I could want. What is it about killing that fascinates you so much? I figure every time someone dies and it's not me, my chances of survival go up. Simple. I should go. Yep. There you are. Not a lot of people go in and out of Dr. Chakwa's office, other than to get medical attention, I mean. I hear you shared a drink with her. That's really nice. I imagine with all that's happened, old friends are becoming a luxury. Gabby and Ken would make a great couple. I just doubt they'll ever realize it. The Normandy runs so quietly. 
I'm not used to hearing my footsteps when I walk. Come back later. I'm sure I'll have more to talk about. Commander, what can I do for you? Do you have a minute, Miranda? There's a lot to do, Shepard. Maybe another time. I'll let you work. Of course, Commander. The Commander has put together an impressive team. I've never worked with so many aliens before. They're a small army. We might just pull this mission off. Shepard, need me for something? Have you got a minute? Can it wait for a bit? I'm in the middle of some calibrations. Talk to you later, Garrus. I'll be here if you need me. The elusive man wishes to speak to you in the debriefing room. Think of the state of the crew. Yeah. Unless all distractions are removed, loyalty to the mission will suffer. Run this team through hell, and all we're getting is burned. Anything else, Commander? We'll talk later. Commander. Shepard, I think we have them. Horizon, one of our colonies in the Terminus systems, just went silent. If it isn't under attack, it soon will be. Has Morton delivered the countermeasure for the Seeker Swarms? Not yet. Let's hope he works well under pressure. There's something else you should know. One of your former crew, Ashley Williams, she's stationed on Horizon. Last I knew, Ash was Alliance. Why is she out in the Terminus systems? Officially, it's an outreach program to improve Alliance relation with the colonies. But they're up to something. And if they sent Chief Williams, it must be big. Perhaps you should take it up with her. The Collectors just happened to pick a colony with one of my former crew. I don't buy it. It shouldn't be a surprise the Collectors are interested in you. Especially if they're working for the Reapers. They might be going after her to get to you. We should send a message to the Citadel. The Alliance can give us reinforcements. Not until you investigate. I don't want the Alliance getting in our way. Once you have the situation under control, I'll send the message personally. Send the coordinates. We'll head straight there. This is the most warning we've ever had, Shepard. Good luck. Joker, set a course for Horizon. I've got to go see the Professor. Aye, aye, Commander. Tell me you have something. Yes. Lilith, we've got a problem. Still can't calibrate the targeting matrix? Those defense towers are useless if we don't figure it out. Sorry, Chief. Getting our comm systems back online takes priority. Yeah. Okay. Surprised people haven't tried to blame that one on me, too. People out here don't trust the Alliance. It's nothing personal. 
What is that? Get everyone to the safe house. I'll cover you. Run! Assuming control.
burn through any armor. Simple enough. Be right there. Commander, we're getting Collector ship disrupting communications. We're on our own now. Things look like the husks the Geth used on Eden Prime. The Geth got that technology from Sovereign. Elusive Man was right. Collectors working with Reapers. Husks have human characteristics, possibly repurposed colonists. No. On Eden Prime, victims were turned into husks by impaling them on spikes. We haven't seen any. The collectors must have brought the husks. They're taking the colonists alive for something else. Collectors must be experimenting on the colonists. What are they up to? Speculation will get us nowhere. It could be anything. Find out for sure when you stop them. These aren't the same creatures I fought on Eden Prime. They're more advanced. Evolved. They can still be killed. The Collectors aren't getting away with more victims. Let's move out. Yes, ma'am. Just like Freedom's progress. The entire colony gone. No signs of resistance. Must have happened quickly. Headed for combat.
Mission Tech. Of course. Right behind you. Victim appears conscious, fully aware, trapped in stasis. Fascinating. They've been like this a long time.
Company. Get out here. Now! You're... You're human. What are you doing out here? You leave them right here! You had to hear them trying to get in. Seems like it's hard to hide from the collectors. Those things are collectors? You mean... They're real? I thought they were just made up, you know, propaganda, to keep us in Alliance space. No, oh, they got Lilith. I, I saw her go down. Sten, too. They, they got damn near everybody. What's your name? What do you do here? Name's Delan. Mechanic. I came down to check on the main grid after we lost our comm signals. And I heard screaming. I looked outside and there were swarms of bugs. Everyone they touched just froze. I, I, I sealed the doors. Damn it, it's the Alliance's fault. They stationed that Chief Williams here and built those defense towers. It made us a target. Tell me more about this Alliance rep. Chief Williams? Heard she was some kind of hero or something. Didn't mean nothing to me, though. Would have rather she just stayed back in council space. Any idea what she was doing on Horizon? Supposed to be helping us get the defense towers up and running. I got the feeling she was here for something else. Spying on us, maybe. Tell me about the colony defense towers. A gift from the Alliance. High-powered Guardian lasers. Supposed to keep hostile ships from landing near the colony. Had to build a massive underground generator just to give it enough juice. Only we couldn't get the targeting systems online. So the Alliance gave us a giant gun that couldn't shoot straight. Stupid sons of bitches. Why do you think this is the Alliance's fault? We're just a small colony. 
Nobody bothered us before we started building those damn defense towers and drew attention to ourselves. I left Council Space to get away from the Alliance. Nothing good ever comes from getting mixed up with them. The Collectors are targeting remote colonies. The Alliance was trying to help. I don't need their help. Too many strings attached. That rep said she was just here to get the towers on mine, but mark my words, there's more to it. If you have defenses, we can use them against the Collector ship. You'd need to calibrate the targeting system first. It's never worked right. We can figure it out. Just tell us where to find it. Head for the main transmitter on the other side of the colony. Pretty hard to miss. The targeting controls are at the base. It's probably just better if you stay out of the way. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. I'll let you out, but I'm locking the door behind you. I'm not taking any chances. Good luck. I think you're gonna need it. Incoming. any armor. This should come in handy.
expected to run across more paralyzed colonists in this area. Colonists loaded onto ship. Collectors nearly finished here. Need to hurry. the transmitter. Normandy, do you copy? Joker here. Signal's weak, Commander, but we got you. Edie, can you get the colony's defense towers online? Errors in the calibration software are easily rectified, but it will take time to bring the towers to full power. I recommend a defensive posture. I will not be able to mask the increased generator output. Collectors will respond with force to stop it. Got any other helpful tips? Just one. Enemy reinforcements are closing in. I suggest you ready weapons. 
Indeed. Simple enough. I'm right behind you. Assuming direct control. That enemy has withdrawn. Reinforcements likely. Understood. Simple enough. more. Now let's finish you off! 
get away? There's nothing we can do. They're gone. Half the colony's in there. They took Egan and Sam and, and Lilith. Do something. I didn't want it to end this way. I did what I could. Nobody could have done more, Shepard. Shepard? Wait. I know that name. Sure, I remember you. You're some type of big alliance hero. Commander Shepard, Captain of the Normandy, the first human specter, savior of the Citadel. You're in the presence of a god, Delan, back from the dead. Oh, the good people we lost and you get left behind. Figures. Screw this. I'm done with you alliance types. I thought you were dead, Commander. We all did. It's been too long, Ash. How have you been? That's it. You show up after two years and act like nothing's happened? I would have followed you anywhere, Commander. I thought you were gone. I... You were more than our Commander. Why didn't you try to contact me? Why didn't you let me know you were alive? Not my choice. I spent the last two years in some kind of coma while Cerberus rebuilt me. You're with Cerberus now? I can't believe the reports were right. Reports? So much for security. Alliance Intel said Cerberus could be behind our missing colonies. We got a tip that this one could be the next to get hit. I went to Anderson, but he wouldn't talk. But there were rumors that you weren't dead. Worse, that you were working for the enemy. Building the defense towers was just a cover story. The Alliance sent you here to investigate me, didn't they? I was sent here to investigate Cerberus, not you. I wanted to believe you were alive. I just never expected anything like this. You've turned your back on everything we stood for. Ash, you know me. You know I'd only do this for the right reason. You saw it yourself. The Collectors are targeting human colonies, and they're working with the Reapers. I'd like to believe you, Shepard, but I don't trust Cerberus. And it worries me that you do. What did they do to you? What if they're behind it? What if they're the ones working with the Collectors? Typical Alliance attitude. You're so focused on Cerberus that you're blind to the real threat. You're letting how you feel about their history get in the way of the facts. Or maybe you feel like you owe Cerberus because they saved you. Maybe it's you. Doesn't matter. I still know where my loyalties lie. I'm an Alliance soldier. It's in my blood. I'm reporting back to the Citadel. I'll let them decide if they believe your story. I could use someone like you and my crew, Ash. It'll be just like old times. No, it won't. I'm no fan of aliens, but Cerberus has a history of being extremist. I'll never work for a group like that. So long, Commander. Good luck. Joker, send the shuttle to pick us up. I've had enough of this colony. Shepard, good work on Horizon. Hopefully the Collectors will think twice before attacking another colony. It's not a victory. We interrupted the Collectors, but they still abducted half the colony. That's better than an entire colony, and more than we've accomplished since the abductions began. The Collectors will be more careful now, but I think we can find another way to lure them in. Ash said the Alliance got a tip about me and Cerberus. Was that you? I may have let it slip that you were alive, and with Cerberus. You risked the lives of my friend, my crew, and that entire colony, just to lure the Collectors there? A calculated risk. I suspected the Collectors were looking for you, or people connected to you. Now I know for certain. I told you I wouldn't sit and wait while the Reapers and Collectors gather strength. Besides, 
they would have hit another colony eventually, and without a way to predict which one, they would have abducted everyone. We have to make sure they don't abduct anyone else. I want the Collectors stopped for that very reason. That's why we're doing this, Shepard. I'm devoting all resources to finding a way through the Omega-4 relay. We have to hit them where they live. Your team will need to be strong, as will their resolve. There's no looking back. The same goes for you. Can I assume you put your past relationships behind you? None of your damn business. If it affects the mission, better you should leave it behind. Shepard, once you find a way through the Omega-4 relay to the Collector homeworld, there's no guarantee you'll return. To have any hope of surviving, you and your entire team must be fully committed to this. Let me worry about them. You just find us a way to the Collector homeworld. I just want to be upfront about your odds. You'll need everyone at their best. I've forwarded three more dossiers. Keep building your team while I find a way through the relay. And be careful, Shepard. The Collectors will be watching you. I guess we're really gonna do it. Hit the Omega-4 relay. Take the fight to the Collectors in person. Looking forward to the action. After seeing what those bastards did on Horizon, though, makes you think. They're powerful, but we've got a few tricks for them. If anyone can stop them, we can. No argument there, Commander. Horizon just made it hit home. What we're doing, what we're up against. Gonna go take care of a little unfinished business. I imagine everyone else is, too. Getting some closure, you know? Shepard, how can I help? Have you got a minute to talk? Not at the moment. Think I've unlocked collector interest in humans. Wait, no. Only one heart. Krogan have two. Scratch that. Anything else? I'll let you work. We'll be here if you need me. Commander, sorry I'm a little unfocused. Personal matter. It won't affect my duties. I always have time for my crew. What is it? As I said, it's a personal matter. I don't want to waste our time if it turns out to be a goose chase. But... Well, I got pinged by a ghost the other night. Family. I'm listening. My private log got an update about the Hugo Gerns back. The ship my father served on. It sent an SOS last week reporting a crash and requesting a rescue. Shepard, that ship went missing 10 years ago. I hadn't talked to my father for three years before that. I buried everything but a body. Now, I'm not convinced it isn't just some automated distress signal ticking over. It's been too long. I think you'd be more excited that your father might be alive. He wasn't around enough for me to have bad memories. It's an old, well-healed wound. But if he's actually alive and needs help, I also want to note that it's not normal procedure for distress calls to be routed to the Normandy. This was passed to my personal log through Cerberus filters. 
Any signs that this is a Cerberus front? Who passed this to you? I doubt the elusive man would let a direct operation stake hold this long. If there's a link, it's probably just about money. Cerberus needs diverse holdings to fund projects like, well, you. And whoever sent this my way covered their tracks. Someone could be fishing for favors, or thought it would get under my skin. Who knows with that bunch? You didn't get along with your father? He made no apologies, I'll give him that. You make a mistake, you own up to it. Even if you keep making it. Whatever problems we had were a lifetime ago. I've had ten years to get to where I am. And as far as I know, he's still a ghost. Tell me about the Hugo Gernsback and what it was doing. Privately held frigate. I looked over the mission brief when it disappeared. Nothing stood out. Typical research and grab operation. Find an uncharted planet, stake a claim, and establish as large a presence as you can as fast as possible to shut out competitors. I think we can spare the time. Pass the coordinates to Joker. I appreciate that, Commander. I don't expect more than dusty old bones, but it'll be good to close the record. quarters. Can you tell me about the operative? Amanda's a top scientist and alliance agent working in Batarian space. It's a deadly assignment, and she's one of the few up to the challenge. She and I go back pretty far, Commander. I won't let her rot away in a Batarian torture camp. What's Dr. Kenson actually doing out there? She's a deep cover operative, Shepard. We talk only when we have to. I'd heard she was investigating a rumor of a Reaper artifact in the system. Her last report said she'd found it. I thought the Alliance denies the Reaper threat. That must be some proof she found. Kenson's team found an artifact out in Batarian space. She believes it's a Reaper device, proof that the Reapers are indeed planning to invade. I've known her a long time. If she says she has proof, it's worth checking out. I'll make this a priority. The prison is hidden underground at a Batarian outpost on Aratat. I'll upload the coordinates now. Once she's secure, confirm her discovery. We'll debrief you when you're back. Got it. Hack it out. Crazy, the people you can run into out here, huh? I mean, it was probably a setup or something, but it was still good to see Ash, Operations Chief Williams, wasn't it? 
She moved on. I can't blame her. She was frontline with you blowing up half the Citadel, and I'm the one who gets roped back into saving the galaxy? Did somebody switch our files? You're the force that pulls it all together, Joker. Yeah, it sucks. I'll give you that. That's it for now. See you, Commander. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. I was just thinking about you. One of the girls in navigation thinks she might be pregnant. Even aboard a Cerberus vessel, life finds a way. I have to say, that Jacob? Mmm. Mmm. He seems pretty intense. I wonder if he likes Japanese girls with a pension for kleptomania. Joker and Edie are like an old married couple. I keep expecting to walk in on them bickering about the temperature in the cockpit. Come back later. I'm sure I'll have more to talk about. Weren't you originally stationed on Horizon? Yes. If I hadn't joined Cerberus, I'd be abducted by the Collectors right now. Wow. You really dodged a bullet. Yeah, I couldn't take that. They creeped the hell out of me. Shepard, I find myself in the unpleasant position of asking for your help. I don't like discussing personal matters, but this is important. Miranda, you're one of my crew. Tell me what's on your mind. You remember what I told you about father? Building a dynasty? There was another reason I went to Cerberus for protection. I have a sister, a twin, and he's still hunting her. Cerberus has kept her safe, until now. She's living a normal life on Ilium, safe and hidden from my father. So you think your father's tracked her down? Precisely, Commander. My sources indicate he knows that she's on Ilium. I've tried to keep her hidden without impacting her life, but I'm out of options. He's too close. I need to relocate my sister's family before it's too late. What do you know about your sister? She's my genetic twin. We're identical, but she deserves a normal life and she's going to get it no matter what. Did your sister's family know about this? Are they okay with being relocated? They know nothing. They're completely uninvolved. Normal. I told Cerberus and they're coming up with a positive reason to move the family. What do you need me to do? My father is extremely persistent. I'd like to go to Ilium when Cerberus is moving the family to make sure none of his agents get too close. My contact's name is Lantea. She'll be waiting for us in the lounge near the Nurse Astra docking bay. Hey. Tell me about you, Jack. What are you up to? Still checking out your ship. Wouldn't mind putting her through her paces when you're not around. I doubt Joker would appreciate that. At least not while we're working. Relax. Joyriding doesn't have the thrill it used to. Besides, if I wanted it, I'd take it. That's so. Uh, I've been around. Ran with gangs, wiped out some gangs, joined a cult. Kept the haircut. I learned how to survive and not be a victim. It's hard to imagine you in a cult. That usually involves a lot of rules. I was looking for answers. Drugs and sex and going to a better place. A better place, right. It was all about money. They wanted to take a colony, shake the suckers down to fund their spread, and guess who was their ace in the hole? They were just like the rest. Didn't give one shit about me. What'd you do when you found out? What do you think? 
You must have met some good people, too. Everybody wants something, and because of that, everything is fair game. Murder, assault, kidnapping, drugs, stealing, arson, not at all, and that's the boring shit. Piracy, theft of military craft, destruction of a space station, and vandalism. That was a good one. Military's a hard target, but that made you some friends. Shouldn't have left the thing unlocked. Besides, parades are boring. I helped. A space station? You're pushing what I can believe. Ain't saying it was easy. Not everything is spur of the moment. Sometimes you gotta work to give people what they deserve. Had some people I hung with for a while. Outlaw colony. Felt like they were like me. Guess that made us a nice target. Turians think they know something about a scorched earth response. Fuck them. You were a pirate too? Ties in with the kidnapping. If you hijack a passenger ship and don't kill everyone, anyway. Good lesson. Simpler to just kill them all. I'm surprised you'd even mention vandalism in that bunch. That's what the Hanar call it when you crash that space station I mentioned into one of their moons and make a new crater. They really liked that moon. Do you ever wonder if you could have done things differently? No. Shouldn't you? There's no reason I should be alive, but I am. You know why? Instinct. It's worked for me so far, and I'm not gonna change. Hey, Shepard. No one's ever asked me about this shit. It's strange to talk about. So fuck you. And thanks for asking. The new armor reinforcements really... What can we do for you, Commander? Carry on. Will do, Commander. Shepard. Just checking in. Making sure you're acclimatizing. <laughs> I was just... <laughs> just sitting here thinking. The picture. I'm finally starting to get it. There's a tank imprint. The battle at Canrum. A dead Turian, stripped. You don't see them out of their armor much. A Krogan boot on his head, and a claw hammer. It's under the brow plate, pulling it back, right? Eyes have gone black, and you see tension in the muscle. You can feel it ready to snap. I get it. Canrum isn't ringing a bell. Death of Shiagar, female warlord. Turians killed her, so they were hunted down and made examples. Even if they won the war, it was the last push before the rebellions ended. Maybe I had to be there, but I don't get the joke. There's no joke. It's just great. It's a Turian, and he's being torn apart for what they did. I felt nothing before, but now I get it. It was a good fight. The enemy was destroyed to punish them all and send a message. I get it. I hate Turians. I thought you'd be glad. I don't know if I'll be coming down here for these talks anymore. Whatever. Don't have to be friends to fight good enemies. Just thought you'd like to know I'm finding reasons for my own battles. How can I help you, Commander? Do you have everything you need? Absolutely. Since you set up my kitchen with proper supplies, thanks again. 
I won't take any more of your time. Back to work. Shepard, need me for something? Have you got a minute? Can it wait for a bit? I'm in the middle of some calibrations. Talk to you later, Garrus. I'll be here if you need me. the reports on Horizon Commander. What you did was amazing. The report mentioned that Ashley Williams was there. How did that go? It was good to see her. That's good to hear. Anyway, how may I help you, Commander? Do you have a moment to talk? I always have time for you, Commander. How do you feel about being assigned to the Normandy? I was handpicked by the Elusive Man to help fight the greatest threat known to humanity. How do I feel? Honored, exhilarated, terrified. But mostly I feel encouraged. Under your leadership, we can't fail. Don't worry. We'll defeat the Collectors. I trust you implicitly. The moment I met you, I knew I could close my eyes, fall back, and you'd be there. I might do more than catch you, Kelly. Now, that's an enticing thought. Anything else you'd like to talk about? I better go. Okay. Maybe we'll talk later. <laughs> 